The Ashford Arena already open to walk for inspection. Our very first Nations Cup of this week will be the Nations Cup for uh, children. Uh, we will have in total Poland, we will have Belgium, we will have Germany, Finland, Nied the Netherlands, Ireland and Sweden. Seven teams in total for the first round of our Nations Cup. Our team of course designers prepared everything. Rafael Suarez, Com Quinn, Robert Hedlickson, Michael Paragin, Bart Hendricks. Team of course designers, the first round of our Nations Cup children. The first round fans 1 until 12. 12 fans has 15 efforts. And it will be the prize Jos Lansing Sport Horses. Dat wordt zo dadelijk het eerste onderdeel van de Nations Cup. De landenwedstrijd als het ware voor children. Hoogte van 1,25 meter. En we krijgen zeven teams aan de beurt aan de start. We hebben Polen, we hebben België, we hebben Duitsland, Finland, Nederland, Ierland, Zweden. Zeven teams vertaalt zich alles in 27 deelnemers. Totaal 27 waarders in total in de first round of our very first Nations Cup for children. Good luck to all the waarders, the grooms, the 70 keeps. And we are already only on 10 minutes before the start of the first round of the Nations Cup children. Dat allemaal voor zo dadelijk de eerste motion van de landenwedstrijd voor uh, children. Last year it was the French team who won the Nations Cup for children. And the vorig jaar 2023 hadden we Frankrijk als winst. Dan hadden we Nederland die eindigde vorig jaar op twee. En uh, België die zat toen op drie. België die had vorig jaar brons bij de children tijdens de Nations Cup van 2023. Wel zeven teams, zeven landen die komen aan de start in de Nations Cup van deze editie 2024. De prijs Jos Lansing Sport Horses. Dat ongelooflijk de eerstvolgende rubriek. Twaalf hindernissen zijn in de omloop en vijftien sprongen. De eerste ronde als het ware van de landenwedstrijd. De Nations Cup for Children. De prijs Jos Lansing Sport Horses. Poland, Belgium, Germany, Finland, the Netherlands, 
Ireland and Sweden. Good luck to all the riders. Good luck to all the chef equips. 27 riders in total in the first round for the uh, Nations Cup children. So the first round, so 1 until 12, and distance uh, for the first round in the Nations Cup children, 460 meters, and that means a time allowed on 79 seconds. 460 meters, la distance dans la première manche, Coupe des Nations, et t'as encore des 79 secondes, 79 secondes, ton accordé, première manche, Coupe des Nations. Voor de landenwedstrijd voor children, dan hebben we een parcourslengte. Parcours op loop van 12 hindernissen van 15 sprongen. Een lengte van 460 meter. Dat vertaalt zich dan een uh, toegestelde tijd op 79 seconden. Toegestelde tijd, time allowed on 79 seconds. In the first round of our international uh, Nations Cup children 125. Powered by Jos Lansink Sport Horses. Ladies and gentlemen, dear riders, dear chef de Gibbs, are we ready? The first round of the Nations Cup children, 27 riders in total, 7 teams in total, Poland, Belgium, Germany, Finland, the Netherlands, Ireland and Sweden. In a couple of minutes, we are ready on the Esford Arena of this youth competition at Sam Tower Park, the first round of the Nations Cup children. That betekent einde van de parcours verkenning. The arena is closed. That means we are going in the neighborhood of the starting hour of the Nations Cup children. 27 riders, 7 teams. First round Nations Cup children. Powered by Jos Lansing Sport Horses. Fences. 15 efforts, distance of 460 meters, and a time allowed of 79 seconds. The first round, Nations Cup children.
Are we ready? Well, the bell has just rung and the first horse is heading straight into the arena for the first of the Nations Cup competitions from Belgium. We're taking you through these competitions from Centaur Park and this marks the first exciting leg of this FEI Jumping Youth Nations Cup series for 2024. Of course, we'll be taking you through a selection of events as the season progresses, but Centaur Park in Belgium is where this will be kicked off for the year. Last year, this early leg was won by Team France, and we have the children's category coming up first, so France were the winners of the children's competition last year. They're not fielding a team here this afternoon, but uh, the Netherlands placed second and Belgium placed third last year. Both of those nations are fielding teams here this year. First, Overall luck. winners Poland. in terms of points for the series last year in the children's category were was Germany, but the winners at the final were Team Netherlands. Our first team into the ring, though, for this first leg of the 2024 season are Team Poland. Their first rider in is Alicia Kosmol, who rides Clearwater PPZ. Alicia is a young lady who competed at the European Championships just last year, those of course being held in Gola Minore in Italy. Jumped as an individual there with this very horse. But she also competed in the Nations Cup final last year as well. That was held here at Centaur Park. As she helped Team Poland in the Challenge Cup. So our course this afternoon is designed by a team led by Rafael Suarez of Great Britain. He's assisted by Colm Quinn of Ireland, by Robert Hegedus of Hungary, Miguel Parayon of Spain and Bart Hendricks of Belgium. She does have 12 fences to contend with here and I'll take you through the course as we go along. But she has 79 seconds in which to get home. So we are looking a little tight now on the clock. But home she comes in a time of 83.79. So some way over the time allowed and that picks up five in total for Alicia Cosmo. Always a difficult place to be, to be the first rider out, not only for the team, but for the whole competition. So just five time penalties. And I have no doubt that is something that will be going back to the clubhouse and her teammates will then have a clear eye on the time allowed, as will the competitors yet to come. Of course, as ever, we bring you the first rider from each of the teams. Seven coming forward in this afternoon's first competition. So the first rider from each of the seven teams will then be followed by the second rider from each of the teams and so on. So first up now for Belgium, team who is spearheaded by Philippe Lacus. We have Ella Bomere now with Moonshine Vanta Amaldonk Z. She heads down now to this double at 4A and B, really striking design there. Now makes this right-handed curve up to an upright at fence five. It's quite an airy fence, which can cause a little bit of an optical illusion. Now it's a roll back as tight as they like to this Liverpool fence at six. She had to really reach there, got a little bit of a long way away and sadly down comes the back rail. We go left-handed again through the middle of the ring then to fence seven. Uh, should be a straight line there down to fence eight. Just having a little bit of an issue with the straightness before we head to this double uh, triple combination at 9ABC, two strides, then one stride between those fences. Another roll back, then that blue oxer. Then there's a, an upright again with a water tray behind the tree as we're looking at it, and another upright to finish. She is inside the time allowed in that time of 77.49. 
But at the fence, she just goes around the outside on their fence six. She was just a fraction far away from, so picks up the four penalties in total for that one fence down. We move on pretty swiftly then to the first rider in for Germany, to Marie Neukirch. Marie sadly just having something of a disagreement at fence one, so she'll get the four for the refusal there. Her rider's top ten semi. Good to see them over. That second time could be costly on the clock, though, for her there. She's had this horse for about 18 months now, but it was an international competitor for Antonia Vogt of Germany, but has been jumping in plenty of top-level competitions in the children's categories with Marie including the Nations Cup last August in Dielsdorf Zurich in Switzerland. Fence six causing another problem there. Fences are a metre 25 in height for this children on horses competition. Really standing off the triple combination. She's done really well to keep the momentum there and keep things going through the triple. Two fences down, eight for jumping. So as we suspected, quite costly on the clock with that early refusal. So 15 time penalties are added to the eight jumping. And it gives a total score of 23 for Marie Nukersch. But of course, we do have one drop score. And Germany do have four riders. So we will be hoping that their following three riders will fare a little better and they can drop the score of 23. That's not going to be the case for some of our teams. We have uh, two, one team just fielding three riders, uh, which is Finland, and that's why we don't come to them first. Uh, we now go to the Netherlands to Stella Hilligers with Suki Dallahey. The Dutch team is led by Edwin Hugenrat. Sella is another rider who competed at the European Championships last year. This, though, is a new ride for her. year old mare that we have in front of us here is a former ride of uh, Alma Ranebo of Sweden as well as Just Martins of <laughs> Just going to pick up the four, quite a speedy round, 72.9, but one pull down for uh, Stella Hilligers of the Netherlands. Ireland, team of Ireland with our number five in the first round. Elia, Dutch Wamlet of Charlie Flynn is the next rider in. And we're following with Team Ireland with Charlie. Charlie Flynn. Charlie represents Ireland, a team led by James Kernan, and he rides the horse Elia or Elia. Ireland placed sixth in this competition last year in this category, but uh, only competed in three legs 
in the Children's Nations Cup series. They came second uh, in Italy at leg two, and they won the leg in Hagen. Charlie with a lot of national level experience under his belt, not so much international experience. But he gives us the first clear round just inside the time about 78. 49, but crucially, nothing to add for Ireland's Charlie Flynn. We're going to go to Sweden as we're following with our number six on the first round. Team Sweden. So the and final first rider, if you like, balance, to go will be for Sweden. Sweden Nikki this is Nikki Anderson. And Nikki rides K and T Kabak. Sweden placed fifth in this competition last year. But Nikki competed this horse in the European Championships as well as in the uh, Nations Cups of uh, Hagen last year. Well, recently, she's been competing uh, here at Centaur Park over the last few months in a good number of competitions up to the metre 40 level. So this height of fences certainly shouldn't be any problem for K and T Kabak. In their second Nations Cup leg appearance together a couple for time then just took things a little bit steady picked up two time penalties and that's the kind of thing that we can see be really influential and really make all the difference as we get further through the competition Back to Poland then. Their second rider is Zuzana Kuzurawi with Uraka 2. Poland have that early ride with the five time penalties. This combination, again, are ones who have competed in a few of the Nations Cup legs previously. They jumped a great double clear in Shamarin in last year's series. Also competed on that Challenge Cup team alongside Alicia. Just maybe needs to pick the pace up a little bit. We're heading now to fence 10 and we've got about 14 seconds to get home. I'm sure though Susanna knows this horse well and knows the approach that is best. But we are just a fraction over the time allowed. Just one time penalty is the score for Zuzana Kuzarawi of Poland with Uraka 2. That will certainly be a counting score. And we'll wait to see what her teammates manage to post. Jérôme Denutte then with Umur Noir de Cran is our next rider in for Belgium. Jerome competes in a lot of the international competitions already. 
Uh, plenty of one stars on his record. Belgium always fielding very strong teams in uh, these Youth Nations Cup competitions. Great to see some of these children gaining a lot of experience on the more ex on the uh, more established horses. This one is a 16-year-old gelding, uh, and this is in fact a new ride for Jerome, former ride of Ruben Romp of the Netherlands. Really nicely done though, 72.85. Jérôme Denuta has just made himself very valuable in a potential jump off, posting a clean sheet for Team Belgium. Just the second clear of this competition, we've got one for Ireland now, one for Belgium. This could be a really crucial round for our next rider. Germany. Brought forward an experienced combination first, but sadly, with the early refusal, Marie Newkirsch picked up a score of 23. It's now over to Finn Hobbits with Vancouver to try to keep as low a score as possible to allow them to drop that score of 23. This is his first Nations Cup appearance for Germany. Well, he's jumped in a few of the uh, shows where we have the Nations Cups. Ah, takes down fence five. Needs some very careful jumping. That's the quite airy looking upright we talked about earlier. Yes, jumped at some of these high profile shows in the Grand Prix. Now he's been selected for the team. Placed in the top 15 in all three of his international Grand Prix with this horse. And most recently placed third in a children's Grand Prix in Hagen. That was back in July, but that was their most recent FEI start together. Three down then in the end for Finn Hobbits and I think that's going to change things somewhat for the German team. 12 is the score, so even if their third and fourth riders jump clear, we know that their minimum score will be 12. Now we go to Finland. Finland, who are this team with just the three riders. Sunny Ili is your first rider in for Finland. Riding backwards, Challenger. Another rider from the European Championships last year. That, though, was with the horse Janka. Backwards, Challenger was ridden by Marco Kutcher. Ah, what a shame. Just comes in a little close to that double combination. So couldn't quite get the height over the A element. Down it comes. Marco Kutcher, of course, a top five star level rider who developed this horse um, as a young horse. It's an 11 year old stallion now. And Sunny has just been riding this in the FEI competitions this year so far in Lier. And then just last week here at Centaur Park. Finished eighth in the Meter 25 Grand Prix. And I've also had three second place finishes here in the past fortnight. Sadly two down so far. I remember all scores count for Finland. They don't have a fourth rider. They don't have a drop score. Backwards challenger having a good look at these water trays. Time's fine, but it's eight for Sunny Elite and Backwards challenger. Backwards challenger. Backwards challenger. 
for the team of the Netherlands, number 11, Anne Willemsen. Back to the Netherlands then now, to Anne Willemsen and Estoril. This combination have only had two international starts over fences of this height. They had two fences down in the meter 25 Grand Prix last week here. And this is Anne's first Nations Cup appearance. This is another impressive horse though in terms of riders on the CV. This one was ridden by the um, and developed by the Tyson family, so ridden by Mel Tyson and Leon Tyson as well. Kevin Jochem's further back in this horse's career. And uh, he competed this one up to the three star competitions. So, again, another opportunity for a young rider to really get the experience with a more established horse. Just the one down then for Anna Willemsen. Great starts for her in her Nations Cup career for the Netherlands. And they sit on a score of four. That's the minimum score that they can carry. We go further with Ireland then, as we follow up with the second round of Team Ireland. First was already clear, Charlie Flynn. And we are following with Consul of Catapult, Conair. And Ted Ireland Pagan. already have one clear on the board then from Charlie Flynn. And now bring forward Ted Fagan, who rides console. This is Ted's first Nations Cup appearance uh, with this horse. He jumped in last year's competition uh, at this very leg, at this very venue with Bella M. Didn't quite go his way last year, so no doubt he'll be hoping for a better result with Con Sol. But this horse has jumped in plenty of good level competitions uh, with the junior rider from the Czech Republic, Emma Sofia Spanko, who you'll recognise from some of these Nations Cup competitions uh, from last year as well. Also been competed by Matt Garrigan of Ireland. A bit tight on the clock here for Ted Fagan. Oof, gets very close to the last as well. Um, two time penalties and a pole down as well. In fact, three for time in the end for Ted Fagan. So it's going to be seven, but we do still have the clear for Ireland. So that could be the drop score. They could still finish on a clean sheet. And they are the. Uh, at the moment, it's only them and Belgium that could be in that position. Sweden looking strong as well. As Hedda Brunes comes next for Sofia Bengtsberg's Swedish team. Quite unusually named horse. This one is called XIT. Oh, that's a shame. He was really having a good look at fence too. She just gives XIT a minute before reapproaching. Yeah, safely over this time. This pair were sixth in the meter 25 
Grand Prix last week. Just had one pull down. She's getting more of a pace up. She's conscious that that refusal could cost her on the clock. Got a good score from her teammates, Nikki Anderson, though, to contend with. Just two. Oh, that's a shame. Again, she she was really trying her very best to keep the momentum up there. But sadly, a second refusal will incur elimination for Hedda Brunes. That's a pity. So, the following two scores for Sweden will definitely need to count. We go back to our first team in earlier on this afternoon then to Poland. This is Adam Gorzinski with Charlton. Poland currently on a score of six, that high score being uh, five. Adam jumped in a few of the Nations Cup legs last year. Once uh, in Shamarin with the horse Lorena and then brought Charlton to uh, Hagen for a nice clear out. Again, another more experienced horse. This one is a 17 year old gelding and is Dutch bred. He's got a good pace up here, not wasting any time on that turn back. Should be just about okay for time. Remember that time allowed is 79 seconds. Yeah, really nicely oh, done. Yeah. Gets another clear round uh, this time for Poland. So they may well be able to drop that score of five. Put them in a really strong position for round two. Eentje staat daar al vaatloos. Jerome de Nutte zo net met u moet maar. We komen bij Miara STB van Mosito van Hellenhof en voor België. Vorig jaar nog bij de Children op het EK in Italië aan het werk gezien. Die Jitske, Jitske van een einde. Team Belgium. For Belgium then, it's the turn of Jitske van den Einde with Miara STB Z. The combination from the European Championships last year. And Jitska has been competing this horse up to the metre 30 level, so a little bigger than these fences. Had quite a bit of success in the FEI competitions in the past year, so. Solid choice for the Belgian team. Nice measured five strides down to fence eight. Now she's really steadying before this triple combination. Very, very quick there <laughs> for uh, Jitska van den Ende. We'll just confirm that time for you. But looked like a great round for the young Belgian lady. 77.41 uh, is the time, but crucially, a clear round. So Belgium become our first team to have two clears on the board. Naar Germany, Deutschland met Lutze Kriepistover. Germany's third rider then is Lutz Gripshover with Castellino 5.
not a competitor who's competed too extensively in the international competitions. Just a few starts at this very venue last year. Castellino has been with Lutz just since uh, just since 2023. This one was written by Pierre Schoncheck of Germany, as well as by Paul Erken and Antonia Erken, junior rider. Needs to get some more impulsion through this triple combination. Yep, so we do have a pole coming down. And I think that slightly sticky approach oh, through the triple combination has been quite costly on the, on the clock as well. So it will be eight for Lutz Gripshofer. Means that Germany now sit on a score, a minimum score of 20, of course, with the drop score. We hope that they might be able to get a lower score. Yeah, so we're hoping that the 23 could be the drop score for them. But we will have to wait and see for the final rider. Back to Finland now then. This is now their second rider, Isabel Olsen with Haya. All scores count for Finland with only three riders. And again, not necessarily the most experienced international competitor, but plenty of these riders will have had extensive national level competition experience. And this is a really lovely pair to watch, actually. Really quick round the turns. They were 10th in the Meter 25 Grand Prix last week. Plenty of these competitors have been here for a couple of weeks. And this is one that was a horse that was brought on by Piet Raymakers of the Netherlands. It's actually a horse that also competed in the uh, Youth Olympic Games in Arken in 2022. That was with a Belgian young rider, Bart J. Junior van der Castile, another name that you may recognise from these Nations Cup series. Very quickly down to the final fence then, Isabel Olsen very much shows how it's done and gets exactly what Team Finland need. Gets the clear. Team Finland, Isabel Olsen. Ah ja, 74-35, daar hebben we de eerste fatloos voor Team Finland. We gaan verder met Nederland. We zitten bij combinatie nummer 18 met Sir de Bos Soleil. En uh, Esther L. de Bois uit King's Road. Mieni Bos is the next rider in for the Netherlands this time. Met Mini Vos. Mieni's horse is Sire de Bos Soleil. And uh, Mieni is an extremely experienced competitor with a number of different rides at the international level which competes uh, in with the pony category as well Sire de Beausoleil one who's been ridden uh, by Bethany Voss in the past as well. So, of course, it very much knows its way around these Youth Nations Cup tracks. Costly on the clock here, sadly, for Mieni Vos. So uh, comes home with a score of 17. 17, we have for the Netherlands. 8 and 17. the total score 
we have those two four faulting scores for the Netherlands so far. So they sit on eight, minimum score of eight. Number 19 with Fibalia, Dutch Wamlet of Verdi by Indoctro. Number 19 and Robbie Sheehan. Robbie Sheehan is up next then with uh, Fubalia. Team Ireland have the clear and the seven. So if they can grab another clear here, they'd be in the same position or a very similar position to Belgium. So what they want, we need to keep as low a score as possible because of course we'll add the scores from rounds one and two together. Robbie also competes in the pony competitions. Fubalia is this 14 year old mare. It's given experience to a good number of young Irish riders. Just one fence to go for Robbie Sheehan. He's coming home now down this final line pretty quickly, uh, but that's exactly what the Irish team needed. A second clear for the Irish team with one rider still to go. It's exactly what they needed, exactly what their uh, chef to keep James Kernan would want. On then to Sweden, our seventh team. Team Sweden, number 20, naar Sweden met Jonathan Hansson. Jonathan Hansen is next up for Sweden with Mac Jack Courtier. Of course, with plenty of scope over these fences. That scope certainly evidenced in this horse's previous record as well. This horse has actually competed uh, up to the five-star level with Angelica Augustin Zanatelli. That was only in January of this year as well. They jumped in the Land Rover Prize in Basel. So it's been competed by uh, the junior rider, Bart J. Jr. van der Castile, who we mentioned earlier on. Now Jonathan Hansen has the opportunity to ride this excellent horse and posts a clear Sweden on a score of two. Very strong position for them. Terug Polen naar de volgende combinatie SB following with the last rider of team Poland, number 21. We have Digi Sport Kuldeina and Elena Gula, number 21, Poland. Back to Poland then, the final rider in this first round for them. This is Helena Gola. Helena rides Digisport Codina. Poland have that score of five, of one, of zero. We're working on the four now for Helena. Again, she's a rider who competes up to the Two star level. She jumped uh, Carbonara MK in the Nations Cup final last year. Saw those jumped in the Longines EF Nations Cup series back in 2022 with another Polish rider.
Two down then for Helena Gola, one of the fastest times that we've seen in this competition so far. But the uh, result then for round one for Poland is going to be a total score of six. They'll drop the score of eight. They'll count the five, the one and the clear and come home with six. That will be the base score to which they will add anything picked up in round two. For Belgium, then, the next horse into the ring is Copacabana of the Paddocks Z, piloted by Robin Vermeer. Robin's competed at two pony, uh, yeah, the, sorry, excuse me, two pony European Championships last year and in 2022, of course, with a different horse. Finished just outside the medals individually last year, but she's finished very well with this horse very recently. In fact, they were third in the one star Grand Prix here last week. That's a meter 30 class. They won a 125 class here in February. And uh, in fact, two of those same classes in February. Gets the clear here as well, shows exactly why she has been chosen for this team and Belgium are in the strongest position possible. Only one team could match them, uh, that would be Team Ireland. So Belgium drop the score of four and they add nothing in round one, go through on a totally clean sheet. To Germany then now, to Charlotte Birken with Kaisha. Germany are not quite having the afternoon that they would have wanted. Uh, we really could do with Charlotte keeping as low a score as possible. Of course, that's always the goal, but particularly in the context of Germany's other scores, we've got a... Uh, a 23, a 12, and an 8, unfortunately. This team who, well, or this nation, in fact, who were the leaders of the series last year. Placed on the podium four times in 2023. She's just picked up one time, uh, one fence now. Aisha is a 16-year-old mare. Yeah, it's quite strong down to the last two down then for Charlotte Birkin. Their total score as a team will be 28. They can drop the 23, but with the 12 and two 8 faulting rounds, it gives them a total score of 28. They're going to be quite a long way out of the running, sadly. Final rider for Finland comes into the ring now. This is Nita Tolonen with Keep Going. And indeed, Nita does need to keep going. Uh, one pole down and only three riders, remember. Oh, what a shame for Finland. Just gets far too close to fence five. Just not the stride that they needed, unfortunately. Down comes another. This is her first international competition with this horse.
Well, 12 is going to be the total then for Nita Tolonen. Eight for jumping, four for time. Uh, all scores count, so it will be 20 for Team Finland. They're a little bit ahead of Germany, but certainly not the score they would have really been aiming for. For the Netherlands, it's the turn of Joop Sharp. Abervale Diamant is the ride. Abervale Diamant is a 15-year-old gelding. Competed by uh, Bart Lips in the past. And six still causes problems. That was very problematic earlier on in this competition. He's got quite some pace up here. And unfortunately, I think that's what's caused him the problem through the triple combination. We need a bit of pace, but we also need the accuracy. You need to be careful. <laughs> 12, down, uh, 12 is the score. Uh, three fences down for Yub Sharp. Drop score will be 17, but that still puts them on a score of 20. It's 12 plus 4 plus 4 for the Dutch team. And we have already second. We have already two clears for Team Ireland. Number 26 now with the Mare, Jimenez, Diesenbeek, Z, and Sam Witcher. Good luck. We go back to Ireland now, then, to Sam Witcher. With Jaronis Dysenbeek Z. Ireland have two clear rounds and one seven faulting round. So the pressure is on here a bit. If Sam can keep all of the fences up, and of course inside the time, he'll put them level with Belgium. He is very quick around these turns. Now he's using his body well to get the balance back as we head to the more technical lines really having to work very hard to get some balance and control back with this horse ah down that pole comes the b element has been quite problematic in the triple combination i think we could just do with a bit more control on this round he's doing his absolute best but uh, it's getting quite strong there, making things quite difficult for him. So two down for Sam Widger of Ireland. His will be the drop score, and their total is seven from round one. For Team Sweden, and one Dutch woman, gelding of Untouched by on the false 27, Sweden, Vigo Beckstrand. That's the combination, Team Sweden. Well, if you've been following the uh, FEI Youth Nations Cup series for the past couple of years, you will certainly, I'm sure, recognise this name. It's uh, Vigo Bergstrand. It's competed in several Nations Cups for Sweden. Also, of course, competed in the final. Competed quite extensively in the pony category now, though, here in this children's competition. Ivan is the horse. He's an 11 year old gelding, formerly ridden by Ebba Danielson of Sweden as well. This has been a ride for Vigo um, for about nine months now. He's been competing this horse up to a meter 40 fences. They were recently in the top 10 in a 140 Grand Prix in Herning, the back end of last year. This 
Sweden. Have to count this score. We have a two, a clear and an elimination. Well, there goes the music. It is clear for Vigo Bergstrand. They will drop the score, the uh, elimination, and they come home on a score of two from round one. Belgium, die blijft voorlopig met het enige team foutlos. Only we have a result. Belgium. So your leading team from round one of this. Uh, Pries Lios Lansing Children's only Nations Cup is uh, Belgium. We have to change something and we can follow with the in-between class. The result is for sure. Belgium for are your leading team on round. a clean Belgium sheet. Nothing to clear. add for them. Sweden team Sweden sit and in Poland second six, uh, place. With seven, they come home 20, on a score of two from round one. Third round place will be Poland with that score of Ronde. six. They will be followed by Ireland with their seven. Ronde and then in a, in a couple of tricky positions, we've got Finland and the Netherlands on 20 faults each. And Germany rounding out these seven teams with 28. Wat wel duidelijk is dat we een totaal van 31 deelnemers krijgen. Well, our schedule in total in the in for the, uh, the day in St. Tower Park here the clock. has some individual competitors tackling this course in between the two rounds. So we'll just be taking a short break for these individual competitors and we'll be back with you for the second round of this pre Jos Lansing go, Sport Horses, the Children's Nations Cup, Cup, all live, of course, on FEI TV. It's uh, we'll uh, 3.30 local time. So in uh, just over one hour's time, we'll bring you this second round. Do stay with us and we'll be back in about an hour's time. En ik wisselt van Sweden. We hebben Foam Jumping 17269, Casco Orta en Emily Kjellberg. 4 en 73, 69. Dat is weer following met de second round in de in-between class. Met Germany, Duitsland, Kristalli of Luhoff. Het is wel Kristalli of Luhoff en de second rider voor Germany, Filipa Walicewski.
Clear rounds, we have Germany, 73, 67, Filippa Walijewski, Kristalijov, Luhoff. Op naar de derde combinatie, dan krijgen de eerste Belgen de in-between rubriek, in-between klas. De hengst van Carico, het contender genaamd Casino Royal van de Hunters. First time, Belgium, de in-between klas, Maurice Riquière. Mavris Riquière vat ons binnen de tijd. Mooi zo, 75, 37. Dat is de tijd geplaatst door Casino Royal van de Hunters. As we following with our next game, Arlen, number 4, CSF Alma and Daisy, Daisy OD. Two fences on eight we have uh, four we have and six top holds. Ten in total the result of Ireland with Daisy O D and uh, eighty four five seven. Ireland Nar Frankrijk I have on Swiva Vic La France thank you uh Dani Preva Boulet Scone Erfurt uh Tangelo van de Zutuve Par Burkraf uh Ortons de Bolieu.
12 points de pénalité avec 3 fois 12 points. La France va 117-32 secondes pour Erfurt, Hortense de Beaulieu. For France, totally on 12 and 77-32 seconds. Germany, next to go, Encognito, Deutsche Bahn, Ludmer, Marlon, Qatar, Robert, Clinton. And uh, next to go, number six, Deutschland, Mia, Kara, Brugger. Germany and Mia Kerabrugger, uh, 10308 seconds total time of uh, Germany, Deutschland, the in between big tour 125 children class. After Germany, we have Poland with the stallion, Holstein stallion called unbelievable, uh, Lila Kulesha. Next, rider number seven, Poland. Lily Kulesha and uh, Tom Fulton included 17 in total and 79, 72. Pay attention, riders. The starting list are ready for the second round for the children, and it will be go on directly after the end between class, the second round of the Nations Cup children. So how we're rekening with the Nations Cup 2nd round with the thing that start after the end between class. We have number 8 for Belgium with Kobolenski van Cornet uit Clarence, Charlotte Blévy.
Donc la Belgique a fait 4 points, euh, 78, 40 secondes. Et 4 points de la Belgique, Charlotte Levy. As we following with Great Britain, Glamour. Next to go, the mayor of my lord Cartago, Kuglov Rouge. And as we following number 10, Great Britain, Emily Gulliver. Eight in total, the result 75-8, Great Britain, Emily Gulliver and Glamour, eight jumping total inside the tunnel out. As we following up for Great Britain to Switzerland, last piece après le 11, Dover van Diarado for Switzerland, pour la Suisse du Schweiz, Mathilda Larsson. Only time faults, we have three total, three time faults, trois points de ton, 81, 29 secondes pour la Suisse, Mathilde Larson, Dover, totally on three time faults, time allowed on 79. As we following with the mayor, Carnaval Cocktail, Anglo-European stud book of Canon, and uh, we are following number 12 in the in-between class, with uh, Kiara, Kiara Cash.
four we have one total included five total of Germany Deutschland 79 Viron 60 Joanna Nix LKVM Carrera M Staying in Germany, number 17, and then between class, we had Carrera M of Cascalino by Colibri, Maximian Kukler, number 17 for uh, Duitsland, the press, Jos Lansing Sport Forces, in between children. Clear, uh, not clear, but we have the last vertical fence. We have four jumping in 75.48. Uh, Germany, Deutschland, Maximilian Kugler and Carrera M. Gewoon kort en krachtig, de naam Joel. En dat is nummer 18 voor uh, Nederland. Joel is van Andy Jamo uit van Cover Dovre, Belgische Bar Bloed. As we following with our next one in the in between class for children, number 18. Voor Nederland, Sam Nouts. Ah, dan gaat dit glas gebeuren. Ja, niet uh, binnen de 45 seconden. Af tot tijd, 45 seconden van het parcours. Een niet hindernis gesprongen. Dat betekent de laatste uitzending afscheid van Nederland. Een fortune in die Netherlands. En Jul Sam Naus. Camille van der Lentakker zet. Dat is een combi voor Prince de Revel Merry. Met uh, België nummer 19 op de startlijst. Met de uh, Chanel de Roek.
Hey, dan krijgen we last. Het tweede ongehoorzaamheid voor België. Voor uh, Chanel de Roek. Chanel de Roek met Camille van der Lintakker. Dat uh, betekent ook helaas de uitzetting voor België. As we following number 20, only 11 riders to go in the uh, in-between class. The stallion called Love Hill, I know that. And uh, we have number 20 now for Sweden, Schwerige Melodie Ullinger. Totally on eight Melody Orlinger for Sweden, 74 72 seconds. With uh, Love Hill, I know that uh, for Sweden. 21 Germany, Copacabana, M van Komi for the Ballon du Rome. 21, number 21 uh, Germany, Giovanna Hell. Germany on 8, 73, 62 seconds. Deutschland 8, Johanna Helle, Copacabana M. And uh, as we following with the next round, number 22, only 7 rounders to go. With Jasmine Tait for Ireland, Zoe Millet, number 22, number 22 for Ireland.
Ireland totally on four and uh, time 77 three eight seconds with Zoe Milat and Jasmine Tight Ireland vier binnen de tijd en we staan in Ireland met nummer 23 Rich Douglas Lady and uh, we are following with Ireland and we see not. Totally on 8 8, and we have two time faults 10 total in 80 seconds. 70. Henry Sinat and Rich Douglas Lady for Ireland. We have enough 5 to go, only 5 to go in the in between class. And be prepared for the second round of the Nations Cup, children. We are following in the in between class number 24. Artichaut de Loli van uh, voor België, Juliette Bergmans. Dat is 12 punten bij Juliet Bergmans met Artichaud de Lolief. Only 4 to go in the uh, in between class. Now we have Germany with Quinn. Quinn and Hannes Utwelker, Deutschland.
going clear inside the top lot 78 70 three riders clear in the end between cross included germany deutschland hannes hult berger and uh, quinn we have another three only three to go and we are following with balance with the uh, last stream of andretti z and uh, gaia kashmirzak Tom Fulton concluded we have 18 total in 92.50 with uh, Poland, Kaji, Kazmierczak and uh, let's stream. Only two riders left the end between class uh, to Sweden with Eleanor Phoebe and of Indoktro by Burgraaf. As we're following with the number 30, only two riders left. Nog twee combinaties in deze in between for Sweden. Kasper Jonberg. Twelve in total in uh, the time seventy one five four seconds. Kasper Jungberg and Eleanor Fee. So we are with the very last rider in the in between class. Pay attention, riders, for the second round. We are coming closer to the second round of the Nations Cup children, and we have the last rider in the in between class. Patekin van het Vianenhof for Sweden. Hendrik Groen.
Totally on 12, we have 74, 15 seconds. The result, Hendrik Groen en Pateke van Vialenhof. Zo, de in-between class, die hebben we gehad. We hadden daar 26 in totaal voor. 26 in total in die uh, in-between class, 125 Nations Cup children. And in a couple of minutes, we will following with our second part of the Nations Cup for children, the brass Jos Lansik Sport Horses. And we have already the starting list inside. 28 points for the team of Germany. We have 20 points for the team of Finland. We have 20 for the team of the Netherlands. It's only seven team Ireland. And only one difference with six points team Poland. Two for Sweden. And the only team clear leading result, team Belgium. Home nation team Belgium into the lead after the first round of the uh, Nations Cup children. België die staat dus aan de leiding als enige team fatlos na de eerste ronde. Zweden die staat op 2, dan staat Polen op 6, dan staat op 7 Ierland, 20 voor Nederland, 8, of 20 voor Finland en 28 voor Duitsland. We are back in a couple of minutes with our second round of the Nations Cup. Children powered by Jos Lansink Sport Horses. Germany, Finland, the Netherlands, Ireland, Poland, Sweden and the leading result of home nation Belgium, second round Nations Cup children. Last year result here in Sun Tower Park. Belgium was third and the Nations Cup for Children. Now, after the first round, leading result of Team Belgium. Ze werden vorig jaar nog drie. Er werd nog brons gehaald vorig jaar, de Nations Cup for Children. En vandaag komen aan de leiding te staan in de tussenstand na de eerste ronde. De tweede ronde die zal gereden worden in de omloop. We hebben een omloop over 12 hindernissen, 15 sprongen. So in total our second round, same course, 12 fences, 15 efforts, the distance of 460 meters and the time allowed on 79. 460 meters blijft the parcours lengte and then blijven the toegestaande tijd behouden op 79 seconden. Tweede omloop, tweede motion on the landenwedstrijd, Nations Cup Children, powered by Jos Lansing Sport Horses.
Ladies and gentlemen, are we ready for the second round, Nations Cup children? Germany, Finland, the Netherlands, Ireland, Poland, Sweden and Belgium. Twenty-seven rounders still to go. Second round, Nations Cup, children. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to this uh, Youth Nations Cup series, the first leg of the 2024 season. And we're bringing you the Children's uh, Nations Cup Nations live Cup on FEI TV from Centaur Park. Yes, we have seven Four teams children. coming forward in this pre Jos Lansing Sport Horses competition. Of course, design is uh, led by Rafael Suarez. And he is assisted by Colin Quinn, Robert Hegedus, Miguel Parajon, and Bart Hendricks. And they set a tough, tough course earlier on this afternoon. Of course, it's the same course that these young riders jump twice to full rounds. Seven teams came forward in round one, so we'll have seven teams coming forward indeed in round two. Sadly, it was quite a tricky start in round one for the German team, and that is why we have them in our in, uh, first off in this competition. They're led out by Marie Newkirch with top 10 semi. Marie sadly didn't have the round that she wanted in round one. She picked up 23 penalties. Hers was the drop score. As of course, with four riders per team, we only have one rider, one team bringing forward three riders. Four riders per team means that we have one drop score. Well, Marie Newkirch it's very much puts those uh, demons to bed from round one and comes home with a clean sheet. What a lovely way to see this combination come on together, going from a 23 score then to a zero score. Absolutely what we want to see there. So Germany in round two, off to a good start. Of course, we do add the scores from rounds one and two together. And so they must be successful over both rounds. The Netherlands come in next. Again, a little bit of a tricky time for some of their riders. Not so much for their first rider out in round two. This is Stella Hilligers and Stella rides Circuit de la Haye. They just dropped one pole in round one. One of the two best rounds of the Dutch team. Their total team score was 20. But the Dutch team are really strong across a lot of the Youth Nations Cup competitions. And in fact, the Dutch team were the winners of the Children's Nations Cup final last year. Silla Hilligers going great guns around here. Getting quite a good pace up as well. Time allowed is 79 seconds once again. The 
So she is well inside that time allowed as she comes down to fence 12, the final fence well inside the time. So we are having a brilliant start already to round two. Two clear rounds in a row. Coming clear inside the time allowed. She had four in the first round, clear in the second for the Netherlands, Stella Heligers. As to be following with the Radar Team Ireland, with number three, with uh, Charlie Flynn. As to be following with our next Radar in the second round of the Nations Cup Children. So the Netherlands came forward from round one with a score of 20. And that is the same score as Team Finland. They only have three riders in their squad. However, because they only have the three riders, we won't see the first Finnish rider come forward until the next round of riders, if you like. So we bring you the first rider from each team, then we bring you the second rider from each team. So we bring you all of the... Number four, if you like, the first of the teams fielding four riders first, and then we will go to the final three. Uh, not quite the start that Charlie Flynn would have wanted. He represents Ireland. He was clear in round one, but he came up to fence one very, very swiftly indeed. So sadly, we do have a pole down. He won't be matching his uh, clean sheet from round one. Of course, to be able to jump a double clear in these Nations Cup competitions is really prestigious and certainly something that many of these riders would aspire to do. Irish team, of course, also tends to be very successful. Charlie Flynn looked like he had a good pace up there, but was pretty close to the time allowed. But crucially, it's one pole down. But they're excellent uh, in the pony categories, um, as well as in the juniors and the children's. Young riders strong as well. These competitions just get ever more competitive. So we go on to Poland now, to their first rider, Alicia Kosmol, with Clearwater PPZ. Uh, Alicia picked up five in round one. They were five time penalties, so no fences down. So we would love to see Alicia replicate that, but just get the pace up a little bit more. But she was the first rider in, in round one, and so arguably had a little bit of a tricky time to... Uh, to then be able to gauge the time. We have got to keep the pace up. And in fact, she does get home inside the time this time. Again, that's just really nice to see that progression. It was only the time that caused her a problem in round one. So it is actually a double clear for jumping for uh, Alicia Cosmol, but now posts the clear score, the clear round for round two for Poland. Sweden then are up next. They come forward on a score of two from round one. Nikki Anderson 
is first in for them with K and T Kabak. Uh, the two is uh, Nikki's score. So again, she was clear jumping and just picked up two for time in round one. So Nikki Anderson then looking again to keep a clean sheet, but come home inside the time. K and T go back again, just has a little look at the water tray there. She's good for time in this round, 74.36. But she did just sadly clip that one pole. I thought we just saw that go down just on the far side of the ring. And so she will pick up the four for Sweden. So, Sweden was sitting in third place after round, uh, in second place, excuse me, after round one. Leading the way after round one were Team Belgium. They are the only team coming forward on a clean sheet. Their first rider is Ella Bomere with Moonshine Van to Ameldonk Z. Now, Ella just dropped one pole in round one, but that was the drop score. That's how how strong the Belgian team are. One pole down for Ella, and then her teammates jumped clear. Of course, if you would like to watch uh, round one back, if you'd like to uh, go back and have a look at some of these performances, you can, of course, do so in the FAI TV archive will be available to watch on demand at your leisure. Oof, this is really uncharacteristic. Ella Balmero just wasn't able to uh, get things straight. Bit of a discussion between her and Moonshine as they come up to this red oxa that's caused a good few problems. It's fence six, so we're about halfway around the course, but certainly the sun shining on the water tray can be really, really, really eye-catching for them. So, of course, we're now on the eight. Unfortunately, then, the total score will be 15 for Ella Balmere, a little bit of a tale of two halves for her. One down in round one, but 15 in round two. We will be hoping that we have uh, some more clears for Belgium to keep them on that clean sheet. So back to Germany then. Germany, the team coming forward in seventh place on that 28 penalties. Uh, Finn Hobbits is up f next with Vancouver. Three down in round one. We have a clear already for Germany. They are some way behind. We do have a little bit of a mountain to climb, but some strong performances in round two. Could see them climb the ranks. We've seen it before. Germany, the team who led the standings of the overall Nations Cup season last year.
Play around for Thin Hobbits Surely Germany are really putting it, pulling it out of the bag in round two. Two clears already on the board for them. Following to the first uh, round of Team Finland with uh, the stallion Backwoods Challenger. Eight we had in the first round of uh, Finland with Sani Ili. Sunny Illy is the next rider in. The first rider in round two for Finland with backwards challenger. They dropped two poles in round one. Finland come forward from round one on a score of 20. So they're in sixth place. Germany have nothing to add so far from round two, which puts the pressure on the likes of the Netherlands and Finland as those two are both on a score of 20. Sally comes down on the back part of the triple combination. That has caused a few problems. She just had to reach a little bit for that fence. Now a nice forward ride to our second Liverpool. One fence left. The time looks okay. Only any triple combination. Yeah, just gets there for time, but one down for Sani Illy and backwards challenger. And backwards Takes the total for Finland up to 24. Well, then we go to the second. Teamlid van Team Nederland. Een uh, eenvoudje had bij de eerste omloop. Daarnet van Anne Willemsen. Estoril de Caribbean van Calvaro. Representing the Netherlands in the Nations Cup. Anne Willemsen. Back to the Netherlands then. To Anne Willemsen with Estoril. One down in round one. And the Netherlands on that score of 20. Oh, what a pity. Fence five just takes quite a lot of accuracy and they just got underneath the fence a little bit. Huge jump at fence six. Really jumped Anna out of the sun. Oh, has a real look at that water tray coming down to that last fence. Has a real look into the bottom of that there. So one down for uh, Anna Willemsen of the Netherlands. One down in round one and in round two. Of team the Netherlands under Willemsen. Next to go, number 10 in the second round to Team Ireland. We had seven from the first round of this rider with Consol and Ted Fagan. Ted Fagan comes next with Con Sol. Ted picked up seven in round one for Team Ireland. This horse has 
such great scope for these fences. These are 125 in height. And Ted Fagan really expertly piloting Con well, Sol. And uh, I see him giving the horse a good pat there for a really good job well done. It's clear to put those seven penalties to bed from round one. Ireland looking strong as well. Only one additional raffle in the first Coming forward in uh, fourth and place Jusana. with that seven penalty. On to Poland now, then. Their second rider is Zuzana Kuzorawi with Uraka 2. Susanna just finished outside the time allowed in round one, picked up one time penalty. Certainly not much to complain about in that round. Just need a little bit more impulsion down this line to the double. Uraka picking up well for her still. But we ideally don't want to pick up any more time penalties. That would put them level with Ireland. Makes a good turn back, good tight line. Stands off fence six a little bit, but that works out for them. Steady's down to the last, but she had plenty of time. She comes home with time to spare, but now drops the one pole. So it will be four for Zuzana, Kuzorawi and Uraka. We are following to Team Sweden with the second partner of Team Sweden with the stallion Exet and Edda Bruns. Now Team Sweden. Not going the way that uh, Hedda Brunas would have liked then. It's uh, a little bit of a tough time early on for the Swedish rider. This is really disappointing. It didn't go her way in round one either. Sadly, she was eliminated. And we'll just see what the decision is to be here. Double has been reconstructed. So Hedda Brunners with XIT just comes once again to the double combination. Oh, that's such a shame. Uh, well, there is uh, they do get between the flags, but in the end, but sadly it is a refusal. So it's going to be elimination once again for them. That's a real shame. Not what we like to see. Voor uh, de jonge Swedish rider. Volgende aan de beurt. We komen bij nummer 13 voor uh, U Mounoir de Kral. Jumps another fence de on the way out though. Kurt Vatos was in de net al in zijn eerste ronde. Zijn eerste manche op naar manche 2. Voor België, voor Jérôme de Nutte. So, Jérôme de Nutte comes next, this time for, uh, for Belgium, of course. We are well into the second riders, and uh, Jérôme is the final of those. He jumped clear in round one. This is the first potential double clear that we could have. Umour Noir de Cran is the ride. Belgium are your leading team. They do have a score of 15 from round two so far, so we really need the clears.
the Belgium. Well, the first double clear of the competition goes to Belgium to Jérôme Denito with Noir de Cran. Nothing to add at all, and Belgium are still within touching distance of a win here in this pre Jos Lansing Sport Horses, the Children's Nations Cup. We had eight in the first round of this rider with Castellino and Germany, Deutschland, Lutz, Griebsöver. Back to Germany now then. The team that we have in seventh place after round one. Their third rider is Lutz Gripsova with Castellino five. Lutz picked up eight in round one, but we have two clears so far for Germany. Another clear would be really valuable. Plenty of time for Lutz Grips over to come home. And 77.48 is the time, but it's a third clear round for Germany. So regardless, uh, their final rider doesn't actually need to jump. They have the three clears and their final score for this competition across the two rounds will be 28. What a turnaround from round one to round two. Really impressive how they absolutely pulled it out of the bag in round two. Great to see that improvement. Back to Finland then, the team who come forward. In sixth place on the 20 penalties, it's Isabel Olsen with higher. Another rider who was clear in round one. No drop score for Finland, of course. Really nice balanced rounds from Isabel. Oops, a huge jump at the uh, turquoise oxa there, but gets over safely. Again, we've got plenty of time here. Stands off the final fence, but indeed she does get another clear. So two double clears in the bag already in this competition. One for Belgium for Jérôme Danute, and now one for Finland for uh, Isabel Olsen. Nothing further to add for Finland, but they will be on at least 24. Still ahead of Germany. But could... The Netherlands keep ahead of Finland. Mini Voss is their third rider in with Sire de Beau Soleil. She scored 17 in round one, and that was the drop score for the team. Mianni Voss comes from this family who have been so successful in the Youth Nations Cup and the youth competitions over the years. Lovely to see her now competing with this talented horse.
Clear coming down to the final fence then. Mini Voss for the Netherlands. Nothing to add at all. And again, what a brilliant improvement from 17 to a score of zero. Really nice to see how they've come on from round one to round two. As we following next round in the second round with number 17 was already clear in the first round to Team Ireland with the mayor of Verdi, Fubalia, Robbie Sheehan. Back to Ireland then. We have quite a jump in the uh, points going from uh, Finland and the Netherlands on their 20 scores then to Ireland on the 7. And Robbie Sheehan jumped clear in round 1. Be great to keep. Ooh, very, very lucky at fence 5. Be great to keep Ireland on that score of 7. But we need two more clears if we are to do that. We already have a 4 under clear for the Irish team. Gunny takes a bit of a curve then, struggles with the straightness down to eight, and so down comes a pole. The minimum score now for Ireland will be 11. Things change very, very quickly with that in mind. Unfortunately, we have a fault on fence number eight. We have One no down it is for Ireland. Robbie Sheehan. Fence eight just took a little bit of a curve on that straight line there. And so it's two four falters and a clear for Ireland. They must add one of the fours, if not both. And the next, one in the second round next up, the we go Cup to Poland. Adam As Gorzinski. it stands, they could stay ahead Adam of Poland. Ireland if Adam Goszynski can jump clear. Charlton is the ride. It was clear in round one. Some problems. Poland's now will be on a minimum score of 10. Even if their final rider can jump clear. For the Polish team, they go on to a score of 10. As we following with number 19, third rider of the team song. Jonathan Hansen, mission of head of. to the last oh and very well timed inside the time allowed uh, double clear for Jonathan Hansen keeps Sweden on six so just to give you an idea of how things are changing we still have those tricky scores for Germany the Netherlands and Finland they're going to be still at the bottom of the tree leading the way still is Belgium but that is somewhat dependent on the next round uh, Sweden stay in second Poland sit in third. It's the turn of Jitska van den Einde for Belgium then with Miara STBZ. Jitska has been jumping so well with this horse, striking a little horse with the white face and was one of the three clears in round one. Belgium's then still could finish on a zero score. And in fact, they do have a fence in hand from their nearest rivals. But 
I'm sure Yitzka would love to get the double clear, much like her teammate. Up goes the music again then, it is a clear, and it's a double clear for Jitske van den Ende of Belgium. Keeps them on the score of zero with one rider still to go. That final rider, Robin Vermeer, has got a fence in hand. So we've just got one rider left from each team then for Germany. This is uh, Charlotte Birken with Kaisha, two down in round one. Um, it's a little bit, uh, well, let's just say it's going to be extremely difficult for Germany to finish anywhere near the podium. They came forward from round one with 28. Uh, they have had three clears in round two, but uh, Charlotte Birken is keen to still get her two rounds in. So regardless of this score, Germany finish on that total of 28 with the three clears from round two. Germany on four, 78, one, three, going to be uh, four, Germany, just one pole for Charlotte Birken, but hers will be the drop score in round two, and so it will be a total of 28 for Germany, which is a shame because they've had three good clears in round two. It's a pity that round one is just where they were a little let down. So let's go back to Finland then, to Nita Tolonen with Keep Going. This combination picked up the 12 penalties in round one. And that contributed to the score of 20. They only have three riders, so no drop score for these children on horses from Finland. The Finnish team is led by Sanna Backlund. Uh, one the, the fact that that uh, tricky fence in the middle of the arena, fence five, comes down again for Nita Tolonen. And fence six goes as well. Big, big horse here for this young rider. She's working on the eight. It was a wise decision to take a slight curve to fence eight, just to give this larger horse a little bit more space. And again, the C element of the triple comes up quickly. Now we're on to 12, once again. Ending was on second round, 12 in total. 12 uh, again then for Finland's Nita Tolonen. Gives a total of 16 in round two. So adding that to the round one score, we finish on 36. Finland slot into seventh place and Germany climb to sixth. She had 12 in the first round. Abervel, Diamond, and Joop Schap. Joop Schap comes forward next for the Netherlands with Abervel, Diamond. Joop scored 12 in round one. And the Netherlands all came forward on that score of 20. Now, if Joop can jump clear, of course we'll stay on the 20. 
one pole down or anything more, they'll go on to 24 and they can be no worse than 5th. Oh, just slightly over the time. So, uh, Jupskarp picks up one. The drop score will be the four for the Netherlands. Again, a great improvement from round one to round two. They will just count the one from round two. And we add that together to the round one score to give them 21. They slot into fifth place. And that will be the uh, worst that they can finish. I'm not sure that we'll see them finish any higher because we do have some strong scores in our other teams, but we will soon see. So Sam Widger is the final rider in for Ireland with Jeronice Dyson Beek Z. They picked up eight in round one. Ireland currently sitting on a score of 11. Going to have a minimum score of four from round two, which adds to the seven round one just landed a bit uh, right-handed after fence five which then made the line round to six that bit longer so he does need to be careful of the time but it's a horse with a naturally fast foot speed five strides down to fence eight and he's taking a real pull coming into the triple combination. He knows that the speed could cause these fences to just rattle down, but he manages really well through there. And gets a clear round clear. for Going Ireland. Sam Widger. Brilliant way for to continue Get this uh, team that. career for him. So we drop one of the scores of that four. And Ireland's final score Ireland. is 11. Team Three teams are left to Elena. complete. Eight in the first round for Elena Gula. Back to Poland to Helena Gola. Helena picked up eight in round one. That was the drop score though. And uh, Poland came forward with six. A clear round would see Helena secure third place for Poland. They would finish on a score of 10 and they'd just be one penalty ahead of Team Ireland. A pull down though would see them finish on a score of 14 and the podium the podium finish the third place would be handed to Ireland so the pressure is on for Helena Gola to come home with a clean sheet she's just got two fences left safely over the over fence 11 one left she's got plenty of time brilliantly done she knew exactly what she had to do she comes home with the clear we drop one of the scores of four we add the four and a two the six and poland finish on a score of 10 they're just keeping ireland off the podium by one penalty very very close between those two teams ireland will be in fourth place here Team Sweden.
two teams left to complete. Sweden next. It's the turn of Vigo Bergstrand, extremely experienced competitor with Ivan. Sadly, we do have an elimination on the Swedish team. So whatever the score is here, this will count. So Sweden sits on a score of six for now. We have four in round two. One pole down. Would oh, Viggo Bergstrand. One pole does come down and they go on to 10. That's neck and neck now with Poland. Another pole down would see them drop into third for sure. And may go down to time. Three fences remain for Vigo Bergstrand. And he already has a pole down. Time's not looking particularly generous here. Steadily does it. Unfortunately, fence number five, we have four jumping, 77, 20. Well, the time seconds. is good. For Vigo. Vigo and of course, and we have to discount the elimination. And so Sweden finish on a score of 10. of 10. So we have the last rider for the home nation. Of the in the this uh, pre Jocelyn Sink, the Children's Nations Cup. This pre Jocelyn Sink, the Children's Nations Cup. Final rider of the competition is for the home nation of Belgium. It's Robin Vermeer with Copacabana of the Paddocks Z. Robin has two fences in hand here. She can drop, she can drop two fences and Belgium will still win. We did have three clears in round one. One of those was from Robin. Three double clears would be a really good result and would really show the strength of the Belgian team. Robin Vermeer then coming home to secure the win. 14 Belgium. Goals for Brilliantly Belgium. done. Fantastic, fantastic round. It's three double clears for Team Belgium. The final one being for Robin Vermeer and Copacabana of the Paddocks. So they will finish at the top of the tree. Nothing to add at all for Robin Vermeer. They do get three double clears. Belgium finish on a clean score. And they will take the win in this pre Jos Lansink Sport Horses, the Children's Nations Cup. Second place goes to Poland and third place will go to the Sweden. The official results of the Nations Cup children at St. Tower Park. Victory of Belgium, team of Philippe Lacus, Ella Bommeré, Jérôme de Nutte, Jitske van der Neijden. The Belgian team take the win, led by Philippe Lacus, a team made up of Ella Bommeré, Jérôme de Nutte and Jitske van der Eende, as well as Robin Vermeer, who just sealed them the win. And on 10 we have for Eagle result for Team Poland, Sweden, a team of Sonia team led by Thomas Vlodalski. The four riders Vigo in that team Bestrand. being Alicia Cosmo, Top Zuzana Kuzorawi, Adam Goshinsky and Helena Gola. They uh, finish, in fact, joint second place with Sweden. Both of those teams finishing on an equal score. Ten penalties for both of those. Sweden 
were led by Sophia Bengtsberg. And the team was made up of Nikki Anderson, Hedda Brunez, Jonathan Hansen, and Vigo Bergstrand. And we will have in a couple of minutes the prize giving presentation of our First Nations Cup children with the Belgian victory of the team of Philippe Lacus. So Belgium are your winners, Poland and Sweden are joined in second place. Ireland are just off the podium in fourth and then going down our list, the Netherlands finish in fifth, Germany in sixth and Finland in seventh place. Of course, this is the first leg of this FEI Jumping Nations Cup Youth Series for 2024. Brilliant series, which will take us all around Europe, all of course, which of course will be live on FEI TV. Following this leg, we will also take you to Compiègne in France. That will be in a couple of weeks' time. Following that, we take you to Zdutrovice in the Czech Republic, and then to Austria, to Linz Ebelsberg, to Drammen in Norway, to Busto Arsizio in Italy, to Zuidwald in the Netherlands, to Hagen in Germany, and to Dielsdorf Zurich in Switzerland. That will be in August, so plenty of action to come for these categories of the children's, the juniors, the young riders and the ponies in their Nations Cup series. The final this season will be held in Belgium in Lier. It takes place in September and certainly won't be one that you will want to miss. All of these teams will be going for maximum points across the series to be crowned the series champions, but they really want to be the winners at the final. Plenty to keep an eye on. Of course, if you want to watch this competition back, you can do so in the FBI TV archive. Do stay with us, we'll be bringing you the prize giving ceremony in just a few moments time. We can see the arena party just getting things ready for the prize giving ceremony. We'll be bringing the top three teams back in to collect their prizes. Some cloud cover emerging at Centaur Park. I'm sure these young riders will be hoping that they can just miss the rain for their prize giving. Well, a beautiful round in the first round. Of course, well, the action doesn't round. stop there. That's the first round. Uh, the uh, first Nations Cup that we have rounded out for the day, the children's category. Following this, we will also be bringing you the Young Rider Nations Cup this afternoon. First round for the Young Riders kicks off at 4.55 local time. So uh, 3.55 if you are watching in the UK. We've got six teams to come forward in that competition. And as ever, there will be a few individuals in between round one and round two. And that will bring you both of the rounds from that uh, pre Philipparts will be the Young Rider Nations Cup. Tomorrow, we have the uh, ponies and the juniors for you. So lots to look forward to, and as I say, all live on FEI TV across the two days of action from Belgium, from here at Centaur Park. Great venue with a fantastic history and which has hosted many illustrious names across the different levels of competition. We have competitions here going right the way up the levels, up to uh, four star level, I believe. A really well located venue in Belgium which has become extremely popular and you can see the fantastic facilities on offer in the arenas but also uh, for the spectators uh, and for the riders and horses as well. well we're just awaiting your top three in this uh, pre Lansing Sport Horses the Children's Nations Cup. Belgium finished on the podium for the second year running. They were third last year. Now they have bettered that with a win. In case you're wondering how the points play out for those uh, joint second places, we add the points for second and third together 
and we divide them between the two teams. So uh, second place would get you 90 points, first place of course gets you 100 points, third place gets you 80 points, so those two will be added together to give you 170. That will then be split down the middle to give 85 points apiece for Poland and Sweden. Remember, across the series, the uh, four best results will count towards the standings. So certainly for Poland and Sweden, that could be very valuable indeed. Germany were the season winners last year. But they weren't followed far behind by Italy who finished on the podium in every leg that they appeared at. To five legs. Well, no doubt Philip Lacus, the uh, Chef to keep of the Belgian team will be just getting his riders ready to come in and receive their prizes. Top three, Belgium, Poland and Sweden. We are waiting for those three teams to come in for their prize giving ceremony. So, that's it. We're all back. The whole thing moment. Looks like we are expecting them any moment now. We are ready to give our prize giving the Brass Jos Lansing Sport Horses, the Nations Cup for children. Here they come then, your top three placed teams. Your winning riders, they're dressed beautifully in the uh, winning team's rugs. Or blankets, however you prefer to call them. Prize giving ceremony, Nations Cup, children. In they come then, your top three of Team Belgium there on the far side of the arena lining up to collect their prizes. And they're followed by uh, Team Poland. First we go to the podium, we ask the grooms inside. And then Team Sweden. The grooms eventjes erbij uitnodigen voor zo dadelijk huldigen op het podium. Poland and Sweden, of course, joint second. The Nations Cup 2024 at Centaur Park. Huge competition. Well, we'll just wait for the grooms to come. Oh, well, grooms or helpers to come and hold the horses. Are we ready for the prize giving presentation? And we invite on the second result. We have the 10 points eagle result for Team Poland, for Team Sweden. And we ask to the podium with Alicia Kosmol, Susanna Kosimarev, Adam Kosensky, Elena Gola, Team Poland. Team Poland also being invited up to the all podium, the of course. Eagle result, team led by uh, with 10 points Thomas. After two rounds. A round of applause for Team Sweden with Nikki Andersson, Eda Bruns, Jonathan Hansson, Vigo Bergstrand. Also being invited up to the podium, those two 
placed joint second. Same result, equal result. Really good job of the second place in the Nations Cup for children. They was totally clear. Joint the second then for Poland's totally Adicia Kosmol, Zuzana Kuzarawi, Adam Goszynski, and Helena Gola. Those four clinching second place alongside the Swedish team Nikki Anderson, Hedda Brunes, Jonathan Hansen, and Vigo Bergstrand. These, though, are your winners. It's already an international competition, Nations Cup. Can we ask to turn 90 degrees to the screen? We are looking to the flag of the Belgium national anthem. We're going Please now to the national, national anthem the national of English Belgium. The four riders, Belgium. Ella Bomere, Jérôme Denite, Jitske van den Eende and Robin Vermeer. Now turning to the flag for the national anthem of Belgium. Hand op elkaar voor België. Victory already of Belgium in the Nations Cup of Children. Ella Bommeré, Jérôme de Nutte. Well, huge congratulations to the Belgian team led by Philippe Lacus and those riders once again for you. Ella Bommeré, Jérôme de Nutte, Jitske van den Eende and Robin Vermeer, the four riders who clinched the win for the children's category in this pre Jos Lansing Sport Horses. Children's Nations Cup. Time for some pictures on the podium before they then remount and take on the lap of honour. Really proud day for these competitors. Samen met Stefanie Muller, onze foreign jets of this Nations Cup children. Inside the bronze giving with the trophy, Some of these the riders are making their debut appearances on the Nations Cup teams. And I'm sure this is going to be an occasion they won't forget. It's a real honour to be selected to represent their countries in this competition. Alicia Koshmol, Zuzana Kuzevara, Adam Kozinski and Elena Gula, Team Poland. And already on the same result. Already on ten points. Even better to rounds. see it with a podium the finish, and Sweden, especially with the chef they keep Sofia Bengtsberg, the riders Nikki Andersson, Edda Bruns, Jonathan Hansson, and Vigo Bergstrand. And of course, it goes for the team of Philippe Lacus, Belgian gold, as it were, by the children Ella Bommeré, Jérôme de Nutte, Jitske van den Einde, and Robin Vermeer. Gold for Belgium. The first gold is coming for Belgium. Good work, guys. Puikwerk, team, bondscoach, chef de keep, Philippe Lacus, die heeft het kunnen zien. Zijn well, our poedes, podium finishes are podium being presented with their sashes the and, and with their rosettes. Beautiful rosettes there that they, I'm sure, will treasure forever. Many years to come, and it's a great opportunity in these uh, Youth Nations Cups as well to get a real sense of some up-and-coming riders who I'm sure we'll see at the very top of the sport in years to come. And the second place, Eagle, and silver on the second place, and Belgium, die heeft het gehaald in de prijs Jos Lansing Sport Horses. Geef ze wel nog een applaus, beste mensen. Een kan of applaus voor our Belgium victory for Sweden and Poland. Well, more pictures and uh, plenty of thumbs up there for the Belgian team and for those podium finishes, Poland and Sweden. Don't forget, of course, you can rewatch this competition in the FEI TV archive.
you also want to stay with us for the rest of this afternoon's action. Mentioning, just to remind you of those times, the Young Rider Nations Cup will continue with us at 4.55 local time. 3.55 if you are watching in the UK. Our children competitors, these very talented young riders just departing the podium to remount, uh, I believe, for their lap of honour. We are all ready for a really last moment of this victory. It's Belgium victory. The lap of honor. Ladies and gentlemen. The well, Belgian always a fun victory. moment. The uh, Belgian, Belgian team will now be taking us around their Robbie lap of honor Vermeer. to seal the victory. Really lovely to see Belgium leading us off. Of Ella Bomere, Jérôme de Lutte, Jitske van den Ende and Robin Vermeer leading things off Sweden, in Nicky this Anderson, lap Brons, of honour they're Langstrom, followed Vico by Bekstra. Team Poland and, and Team Poland, Sweden. Tosbal, Your joint Uberak, second place finishers. Plenty of and them the gold in their medal in the Nations Cup lap final of honour circle here. For Belgium, for Belgium, Ella Bommeré, Jérôme de Nutte, Jitske van den Einde, Robin Vermeer. The Belgian flags as well flying proudly from their horses' rugs. Champions indeed they are. Well, that rounds out this pre Jos Lansing Sport Horses, the Children's Nations Cup well, competition Nations here Belgium from Centaur Park. A win for Belgium. As I say, the action doesn't stop there. You can join us for the Young Rider Nations Cup, which will be taking place in uh, just under half an hour's time. The course will, of course, need to be reset. We will update those times for you um, if there are to be any changes, but at the moment we are expecting that to be in about half an hour's time 455 local time for those six teams in the young rider nations cup so stay with us we'll bring you all of that live on fei tv